Well, if you're taking advantage of this nice weather and out finishing that Christmas shopping, you are not alone. Panhandlers are also out in full force right now. But tonight, police are urging you to think twice before giving any money to anyone. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez is live tonight. And Tanya, this has really become a serious problem. It is so much so that police actually don't want you to roll down your window. It doesn't matter who comes knocking. They don't want you to roll it down. Not even a crack. They say that instantly will make you vulnerable. So windows up, doors locked. They say it's all about situational awareness, whether you're sitting in a car or if you're walking down the street. In almost every city, you see them hand out, sign up, looking for a come up. But police say a panhandler in one North Carolina city took it too far. This is him, Eric Gutler. He allegedly harassed a man walking down the street and demanded money. He then followed the man back to his car and picked a fight. Police say the man felt so threatened, he shot Gutler. And Gutler, the panhandler, was the one who wound up charged. Because in almost every town in our area, panhandling is against the law. If you are a panhandle, just say no, keep walking. Officer Tim Acock says in Matthews, no, We ask that you don't. They have seen a few more reports of panhandlers recently. And as the cold settles in, so does the temptation. Uh, so you want to do your part to help, especially this time of year around Christmas and the holidays is hard. He says giving money is dangerous for you and the person asking. You're holding up traffic sometimes to give that person the money or a handout for food or whatever it may be. Uh, so then you're putting everyone in danger. Organiz Organizations that work with people in need say, instead of money, offer information to get people out of the cold. We want to say yes to compassion. We want to say no to panhandling. And we want to say yes to helping people get services that can truly help them. So the panhandler who wound up shot is now facing charges of aggressive panhandling and breaking and entering into a car. The person who shot him has not been charged. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. So many situations, as you just highlighted, where things can just end so badly. Tanya, thank you for that report. Yep.